So I'm releasing a new tool called Animation Helper, and I wanted to quickly show you it. This is going to be beneficial for anyone that's creating animations in Fusion, as well as the people that are creating titles and transitions, that sort of thing for the edit page, because we're going to be taking advantage of the animation curve and the flexibility that that tool has. So let's jump over, and I wanna quickly just create a path here. So I'll just slide that over and create my path. So there's our path. Now let's go over into the modifiers for that particular path and we have this displace and that's going to be the position on this particular path. So let's create a animation curve on there and that would allow us to automatically have an animation that is going to be based off of the length of the timeline and then as well as the position of it. So that's going to create our animation. And a lot of people are very used to seeing over here the source. So that's going to be the uh, way in which it calculates the time. And then we also in here have some uh, abilities to add in some different easing stuff. We can't really see this stuff in here. And I thought that that was always a limiting uh, thing within these tools. And if we come over here to custom, we can obviously create a custom path, but to take that custom path that we make here and have it match up another element is rather difficult. Uh, unless we are doing a complete copy and paste of that uh, modifier itself. So, that's not what we're gonna be doing here, but because this timeline is so long, I just wanna come in here and create a custom source start and end time. So let's just go in and create that. And so now over this duration, it's going to go from one side to the other. Now in here, if I was to create some type of path, we can see that that will now be reflected. Okay, so where is this tool actually going to come in? So let's go into scripts and go to animation helper. So here's the animation helper. We can come up here to see all the modifiers that are currently in here. And we can see that the animation curve is shown up here. It is input that the animation control is driving is the displace and the displace is connected to the path. So that's going to be in this particular modifier. And then down here, once we have that selected, down here we can create or we can select any curve that we want to use. So let's do a decel. So it's going to decelerate over the course of that, just like that. Or let's go in and do an overshoot. So we go in and it does a little overshoot. But one of the things that I always wanted to be able to do is if we come back over to uh, down here and we went into custom, or excuse me, if we go into easing and then we have this bounce, the bounce is always nice, but there is no ability to modify this bounce. So if I wanted to have this bounce go to time or I didn't want it to bounce so much or maybe I wanted to bounce more, uh, there was no real way of customizing this. So obviously I had to fix that. So if we come back over to here, I have some bounce down here. So if I click on bounce, we have our bounce, but we also have the ability to go in here and customize it if we ever need to. So that's the benefits of this. So let's go into a couple other things because I feel like as we progress throughout this, you're going to see the true power in this particular tool. All right, so let's close this and go over to my next little guy that I have set up here. And all this is, is just two paths with two different, or excuse me, two text plus nodes with two different timings, uh, slightly different, okay? And these are just controlled by a displace uh, with an animation curve. So if I just uh, look at these in the tool, so if we go like this and it searches, it can find both of those. And now remember, our timing is completely different. So if we were to use, let's say, a expression where we were copying the values from one to the other, obviously this wouldn't work because they're going to have different timing. So maybe we do want the different timing, but we want all of the elements in the uh, Fusion Comp to work the same way, you know, have that same feel whenever they shift into their new position. And so now that we're in here, let's just select both of them. Now remember, they both have completely different timing and let's uh, apply an overshoot. And as we apply the overshoot, we can see that they are both receiving the overshoot, but they still have their different timing. So this would allow us to create a whole project where everything has different timing, but we can easily iterate 
And this is the one of the best parts, I should have explained this earlier, is we can easily just click on anything and see how these particular elements uh, work, right? We can get a good idea of what's going to work best for our project with very, you know, very quickly we can just click on them. And so let's go into another one here. Whoops. Do, 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 do. And let me show you this one. So this is going to be a little bit more. So all we really have is just a bunch of ellipse and they all just have different paths. They all have the same timing. So it's just kind of like copying, pasting, putting them down, and then just giving them different start points. That's all I did so far. And so now if I was to play this, let's uh, make this a little bit bigger. We can see that all of the elements go in and they just end. But like we've been doing, we can just come over here, go into animation helper, scan the whole project, see what we currently have. We can pick whatever we want. So let's just pick everything and let's add in an overshoot to everything. And just like that, we now have a new animation. Oh wait, we are you know in the process of trying to figure out this. So we can just select something else super quick and easy and see what that looks like. Okay, that might not work for this project. Let's um, go in with, you know, maybe this. Okay, that might not work. Let's try a bounce. This is gonna get kind of chaotic, but maybe that would work. Or, you know, maybe we'll do this one. So there's a lot of different options here. We don't have to go into every single modifier and change its controls. We can do it all from one panel. The timing of our project does not matter because we're using the animation curve. And then on top of that, once we take this, let's say we have a final project, we can take this and turn it into a transition or a uh, title on the edit page. And because they're animation curves, everything will work if it's, you know, 50 frames per second, if it's 120 frames per second, if it's 30 frames per second, everything will work the same way. If it's five seconds long on the timeline or 35 seconds long on the timeline, we can we have the ability to easily iterate by picking the different elements here. And this is only the beginning. Now remember, this is only 1.0. There is a lot of different ideas that I had in my head. And I wanna hear from you guys that end up using this. If you have some critiques, if you find bugs, if you wanna see something added to it, you know, we can kind of do whatever we want here. This was the starting point and I thought that um, you know, this was a good, a good spot to release it at. I do have a bunch of ideas that I'm going to be working after this initial release, but, uh, hearing feedback and giving me ideas on things that I could add to this to make the product even better is, uh, yeah, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be cool. And there's, like I said, a lot more to add to this. So that is animation helper, uh, version one, I guess, uh, it is available on the website. If you are a pro member, you can go to the website and download it right now. Uh, if you're not a pro member, take a look at everything that's on there. I feel like the, um, the amount of value you get from the pro membership is definitely, you know, a thing that I would uh, definitely consider if I wasn't the one that was creating everything on the website. Uh, but if you just want this one particular element, you could sign up for a month and then you can cancel and you can use this tool for as long as you want, but it will get updates uh, throughout the course of its life. Like it's you know brand new now and over the coming months, we'll definitely be adding more to it. I hope that you stick around for a little bit longer than just a month. Uh, there's a bunch of other stuff on the website that you also have access to as well as myself. So take a look at it. Thank you so much for taking a look at this. And like I said, looking forward to hearing from you guys that end up actually using it. And if you do guys, if you guys do find bugs, please let me know. But with that being said, my name's Justin. Thanks so much for watching. Until next one, guys. Peace.